The number of citations tripled this Memorial Day compared to last year. Our Parker King talked to MHP today. He joins us now outside of Troop, B, Troop G headquarters, that is, with more. Guys, this can hopefully send a message to drivers across the state come big holiday weekends. Local and state law enforcement are looking for people who aren't wearing their seatbelt. And it's no hard feelings on Highway Patrol's part. They'd just rather give you a ticket and tell you to put your seatbelt on, then show up to a fatal accident. In just one year, the number of tickets given to people for not wearing their seatbelt tripled. That was a major goal, a major thing we were looking for over the over the week. The 2017 Memorial Day weekend racked up only 191 seatbelt citations. This past weekend, 717. Mississippi Highway Patrol hopes this sends a message to all drivers. There's too many things out there on the road, too many distractions, uh, too many other possible uh, ways to get hurt or killed. Uh, while you're out there driving the highway, it just doesn't make any sense uh, not to wear your seatbelt. Master Sergeant Chris Turnipseed of Troop G gives educational presentations to schools on the dangers of not wearing a seatbelt and says it can be disheartening. But I'll always poll the audience to who wears seatbelt, and it's still anywhere from 40 to 50 percent of the people who raise their hands that don't wear their seatbelt. I don't, underst don't understand that, it's unacceptable. While the ticket price can be seen as inconvenient in the eyes of the driver, it's only a small price to pay. For potentially saving your life, there is a high correlation between uh, fatality accidents and seatbelt usage. The majority of things we see out here working the roadways and crashes, uh, you know, front end collisions, rollover crashes, mm -hmm. things like that, seatbelt will definitely save your life. And on top of tickets being given to drivers without seatbelts, like you mentioned, Joey, the number of tickets given because of unrestrained children over doubled, going from 45 to 104. Per 100,000 people, Mississippi's number two in the country for auto fatalities, folks. A simple strap across your chest and your waist can save you time, money, and potentially your life. Live outside of Troop G headquarters in Starkville, Parker King, WCBI News.